if your computer is running absolutely slow you have clicked on the right video today i'm going to tell you the best optimizer for windows 10 and 11 so let's get started open up your browser and search optimizer windows 10 and then click on the first link by Helzerg and then click on download once it's downloaded click show in folder right click and then run it as administrator and this should load up in a few minutes okay so you will see a bunch of options and you might get confused i'll tell you what to do so first up just check this copy all the settings i'm doing if you use print service then do not click this and i don't know who uses fax so i'm going to disable it sticky keys i'll keep smart screen enabled so that i don't install any virus by mistake and then we have system restore i guess you should not touch that super fetch if you have an ssd then you have to turn this on if you don't just leave it then you should also turn off hibernation and yeah leave the rest now we have to come on the app section so we'll disable office telemetry Mozilla Firefox telemetry, Google Chrome telemetry, and if you have Nvidia graphics card, then I guess you should turn this off too. And then you have to also disable Visual Studio telemetry. Now on the privacy section, you need to disable telemetry tasks, media player sharing, home group, and just leave this. Now let's come on the Windows 10 tab so we'll disable this if you want to uninstall onedrive click on this and then click on yes but make sure you don't have any files to be deleted if you use onedrive just leave that setting as it is i will disable it and now now we'll go on to windows update i guess you should not touch anything from here if you want to disable updates you should check all of these but i don't want to do it once you're done with that let's come on to the privacy section we'll disable telemetry services cortana enhance privacy disable start new ads and now on the gaming section you should enable the gaming mode disable xbox xbox live and the game bar then on the touch section you should check all of these if you don't use them and then on the uwp apps you can install some microsoft windows store apps which you don't want for example if i don't need xbox gaming overlay or calculator or something i will select that and click on uninstall now in the startup tab we see a bunch of apps which are running when your computer starts up so if you don't need any of these just disable it but if you don't know what maybe is security health just leave it as it is for me i don't need razor cortex or steam and razor x1 etc etc and i'll just delete it okay now in the app section you see a lot of apps you can download all of them at once for example if i want 7-zip winrar liber office adobe reader firefox etc i will just select all of that set bit preference if you don't know if you need a 64 bit or 32 bit search system information on your search windows search button and here you can see i have an x64 computer you might have an x86 if you have an x86 go for the 32 bit and if you have an x64 go for the 64 bit and click on download and it should all appear in one folder 
then in cleaner tab you can clear all the cache and junk files from your browser and windows so i basically don't have anything because i because i regularly clean this up and yeah the rest is just normal things it's not going to help with your settings or performance so yeah we are done with it and you just need to restart to apply these changes that's all for today's video if it helped you please hit the like button share this video with all of your friends you know now we'll see you in the next one till then peace